Okay, so it is just after neon fur. I've worn a quite a bit, and she smells bad. So, I'm gonna wash her, this head for the first time. I'm not super worried about it. The eyes are sealed, this is all fine. She should squish in just fine. The only part I'm worried about is the eyes. They're the most delicate part. So before I wash it, I'm gonna take some clean, light-colored socks and just, just, just shove them in there. And that should help protect the eyes a little bit. You can use scrap fabric too, just scrap, you know, white or light colored towel fabric. All, the only important thing is that it won't bleed. If the colors bleed out of the socks, then you bug it. Anyway, all right, I'll put her on and we'll see what happens. I'm also going to put her partial hand paws in here and her digigrade padding in here just to balance out the weight of the head so that the washing machine doesn't clunk itself to death. Now we're only going to use a little bit of wool wash. This is what I found at my local supermarket. Um, I believe Americans have woolite. Uh, so a little bit of wool wash, wool mix, whatever, on the... Uh, focus please. On the hand wash or delicate setting on cold. Make sure it's cold. I'm only going to do a quick wash just to see how she goes. She'll be fine, but she doesn't need that much washing anyway. And make sure you do not use um, fabric softener or like powder detergents. Um, they can mess with the fur. So just use wool light or wool wash. Buy a good luck. Hand wash, quick wash, cold and fast as possible because you're going to get as much of the water out of the head as possible. You'll be fine! Alrighty, she's done. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, socks came out. Last time what I did was I put like a headband around her eyes and that caped, kept that caped, kept the um, socks there, but she's fine anyway. Always w um, seal your eyes with sealant. <laughs> always, always do that. Yeah, yep. And she's completely fine. Okay, so I just gave her a nice brush and now she's going to sit out here and outside for like, I don't know, like two days. You have to make sure that the foam is completely dry before you do anything with your suit head again. You really don't want mold to form. Um, so I would recommend having a fan on the head for as long as you can. I'm not gonna bother doing that because this is Australia, but <laughs> um, yeah, just make sure you give them plenty of air and drying time. So I'm just gonna dump her on this rack with her neck. Oh, come on. Sit up. With her neck open. Like this. Stay. So I'm just gonna leave her like this and <laughs> she'll be fine. So now I'm off to wash her body. Uh, and that'll be just done the same way, pretty much exactly the same. Just turn the body inside out, chuck it in, wool wash, you're good, okay? Wash your fur suits, people, for the love of God, wash them, please, they need it. 